Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of Everything OneNote. Today I'm going to go through and show you how to set up multiple OneDrive accounts on your OneNote and I'm going to give you three really cool reasons why you should set this up. All right, so let's get straight into it. So firstly, I'm gonna show you how to set this up essentially if you haven't done it already. And then gonna go through three reasons why you should probably look at setting this up. So I'm on a Mac. I think it looks pretty similar across all platforms, but if you head down to your little man on the left, where it's got my little logo that shows that I'm signed into this actual one, um, OneDrive and my wallet, et cetera. So I'm signed in with my tenant and that's my email there. But you can also see I've got a couple other accounts and OneDrive they're syncing. So I've also got my email, which is a personal account, and I've got um, the Andy and Richo Outlook account that I've got set up there as well. So initially when you sign in, you're only going to have one there. It's very quick and easy to add one. Simply hit the plus sign, choose whether you want OneDrive or OneDrive for business. It's going to ask you to sign in and pick up whether it's just, you know, just your personal Outlook account or things like that. Once you go through that process of logging in, you're gonna see you're gonna have multiple accounts here setting up. Now, the advantage of doing that is now, um, we can actually look at things like backing your work up, um, if you're in the instance of moving on and going to different schools, and I guess being able to work on both personal and school accounts at the same time. So, when we go to then create a new OneNote, this is something you might want a look at. So I'm gonna start a new OneNote, Closing this, add a notebook, and I'm gonna hit new. I'm gonna pick a lovely teal color. I'm gonna give it a title, and then you see, I now got the options to choose where I want this to actually say. So I can choose it from my OneDrive personal or my OneDrive Brisbane Catholic Education. This is obviously my work and school account, but if I wanna set some stuff up for a personal account, and this is one that you might wanna look at doing, especially if you are within a school or local tenant, hit OneDrive for personal, give it a title, and that's gonna create a new OneNote that's now syncing to a different section of your one different OneDrive account. So that then allows us to one, have a bit of a backup. So if you're in the instance where you want, you've done all this work and you may be holding a lot of your content in a teacher OneNote or in a OneNote where you're just not really sure how safe it is or whether someone might actually delete your stuff, copying all your work across to another OneNote. I have one just called My Resources where I essentially just send anything that's relevant that I've worked on that I need straight across to that OneNote. And then that's just a little backup for me if I ever anything happens to the, the master or the teacher OneNote or any of my class notebooks. And the next one is obviously moving on. So it kind of follows on from the backup one. If I'm in the instance where I decide I want to leave the organization that I'm working for and go to a different one that has different emails, different logins, all that sort of stuff. I want to be able to take some of that stuff that I've done and created with me. So that's a really quick, easy way. You simply just then just log into on your new device. You log into your OneDrive account, your personal one, and then start opening up those multiple accounts and start moving things back across to maybe your new class notebooks and your new teacher notebooks and things like that. And the last cool one, I'll tick them off as I go, is for personal reasons. So it could just be that you use OneNote for a bit of planning, taking notes, um, shopping lists, whatever it is that you use OneNote for, you're able to then use it all within the one account. So you can't really tell the difference here. I just have all of these notebooks open. Some of them are syncing to one OneDrive, some of them are syncing to a different OneDrive. So it's really quick and efficient to be able to work through personal and work stuff by just simply moving back and forth between notebooks within the one client. So there you go quick way on how to sync multiple OneDrive accounts and three really good reasons why you should look at it. Thanks for watching. Ciao. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And to keep up to date, don't forget to follow us. If you have any questions, feel free to write them in the comment section. Cheers.